that there is the original air conditioning compressor on my 1963 Cadillac doing the job. I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Especially after 60 years of use. Trust me, I'm pretty confident based on what I know about the previous owner that that sucker was used. I know this is like the worst gauge ever for this type of thing, but uh, it does work. You just have to reset it with the trigger. I do have an actual AC machine, just uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. So, but yeah, um, yeah, it works. Compressor is pumping out about 200 psi. I measured that on my machine. Low side, I've been having a bit of trouble. She's supposed to be at 30, but she averages about 38, 39. And that's with the suction throttling valve maxed, like, all the way anymore, and it's going to fall out. <laughs> it might have an, It might be overcharged, or it might be the compressor is a little weak, but this thing is pretty good. AC, I just got it. Just did some adjustments on the suction throttling valve to make it a bit better. But it is working. And with how old that compressor is, I am impressed. Everything on this system is fully original with only one exception. And I'll get to that in a second. Let me show you the system here. So this is basically the one exception. It's got R134A ports. And it is charged with R134A. And it has PAG oil. It, do, it does not use mineral oil anymore. Um, the compressor has not been rebuilt to accommodate for this. Which is another thing that's impressive how it's still going. Because to the best of my knowledge, mineral oil is thicker than PAG. Um, you might remember I did a disassembly on this. I didn't show it on camera because I didn't have the camera. But um, I don't think I did. But that thing was full of sludge. I cleaned that out. Um... I only took the back head off. I didn't go any further because I don't have the tool for the clutch. All right. But yeah, the compressor's working. Original hose. You can tell because it's super stiff and it's uh, got paint that's cracking. This bushing, I need to put that back before it um, chafes the hose. OG condenser and they're looking beautiful. I just love the way these fins look on these old condensers. Not that boring aluminum like nowadays. Nice. Original. Original receiver dryer. Mixed mixed opinions on that, I'm I'm aware. <laughs> um, got the little sight glass on there. Nice little original hose. It's very small because it's the liquid high pressure side. Original TXV. Doubt you can see that under there. And original suction throttling valve. Granted, I did put a new gasket in here. Had to put it because the old one ruptured. Actually, really, somebody rebuilt this once and put the gasket in backwards. So, if you know anything about suction throttling valves, you know that little nub or whatever sticking off the gasket. It was pushing up against the um, wrong side. It wasn't stuck into the actual valve. It was pushing the other way. But, yeah. Original evaporator, too. Factory air conditioning on a 60-year-old car. Isn't that just lovely? Thanks for tuning in to, to this JTV thing. Um, one more thing, any, if anyone wants to know. It says it takes a 4-pound charge. I put 4 pounds in it. Exactly 4 pounds. Um, only problem is, well, that seems to have overcharged it. I have... I mean, there's no easy way. It might just be an R12 thing, but um, with R134A, the pressure is way too high. Um, with the AC system off, like, it sh when the car is cold, it's 80 degrees outside. The pressure should be on either side. They should both be the same. The pressure should be about, like, 85, 90. It shouldn't be that high, but it was about 110 with a four pound charge so I'm probably gonna end up just bleeding a little bit out see if that helps um, I know I had a new compressor installed 
briefly that um that one i only put a 3.6 pound charge in and that actually worked really well reason i went back to the old compressor is because nobody seemed to sell a belt for the four and seven eighths diameter pulley i just don't know why this is a six and a half i think it's six and a half but the four and seven eighths nobody sold it i don't know why they said they did but you'd get it and it would be the six and seven eighths so i decided why not let me put the old compressor back on and see if the sucker works and it does so i'm happy with that hope you enjoyed um if you like weird intermittent videos like this on stuff that um you never usually see go ahead and hit the subscribe or whatever if you don't like the video please leave a comment and tell me what i can improve on thank you so much and goodbye